certain things, to certain ways, that somehow you can bring people back. I'm not talking about America. I'm not earning saints or anything like that. There's certain ways if you know how you can do it. But anyway, I leaned over and told her who I was. And, uh, and then I said uh, something that you heard her say, and you said it with her many times. And I want us to say it together in a minute. But anyway, I said, Miss Perry, you remember teaching us, and I quoted that scripture she always quoted. And she broke out in a real big smile. And her sister just went bonkers. She said, that's the first recognition. And she was so happy to see her smile. And she opened her eyes just for a moment, and she closed them. And a few days later, we preached her funeral. But uh, those of you in the 11th grade, remember, we start off many days with this. And if you'll say this with me now, this will just be the close of this. And then we'll open it up. But you remember Psalms 1914? Say it together. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I needed that encouragement. And you've already been. 
said, uh, wait a minute, honey, these three boys are bringing home us three daughters, and then someday you'll have all the granddaughters that you wanted. <laughs> so that's the way life has gone.
And I said, we ever going a little fast? He said, oh, no. I said, this is a 41 series. I drive it on 34 Ford faster than that. And about that time, it blew out, and he, he turned completely around the road. And we stopped and fixed the flat, and my daddy came home at night and said, uh, I heard you had a flat. I said, yeah, we just had a flat, no trouble. I, you know, I knew what was going to happen if you knew the whole story. He said, well, I just got one question to ask. I said, how come you heading back toward the store when you was fixing the flat when you left going home? <laughs> <laughs> Mildred, believe it. won't take me long. <laughs> I've worked 51 years at the physical store. And that's all I've ever done. I'm not married. I don't have any children or grandchildren. <laughs> but I enjoy everybody else's, especially my nephew and his family. How many reunions have we had, Mildred? How many times has this class reunion? <laughs> We do appreciate all the committee. I didn't do anything. My name is on there, but I didn't do anything this time. But we appreciate the committee and all that they've done. Appreciate Rachel and Cook for having us. And all the work, hard work they've been through <coughs> to get ready for this. And you know how many The food was delicious and the fellowship was just been great. I would say we've almost had one every five years. I don't know. About if it, every five years we have. I doubt if there's been many. I don't know if any of I certainly didn't been at all of them, but I've been to a, a, a great deal of them. And, uh, and uh, Mildred is the, was a driving force behind all of those other ones uh, with some other. You had some help, but uh, there's always Mildred letter that came out under Mildred's signature. She <laughs> called us together. She was always one of you where to send it to. That's right. Now, one of the antitrust coming apart with y'all remember one of the amazing things. In the middle 70s, Miss Barry was there. At that time, this is the middle 70s now, we graduated 40, there had not been a single death in this class. And just a few weeks after that, somebody was killed in an accident, was the first one. Literally, But uh, when we met at that time, there had not been a single death in all those years. Very something. Okay, Don Lee. <coughs> well, um, the information is in that book, that, but we have two sons and two grandsons two generations without any girls. And uh, I do appreciate uh, all of the ones that sent the information in that we could get the booklet together. I wanted one, but without your help, I would not have been able to have helped with it. And I do appreciate Cooper and Rachel for inviting us, and the food was delicious.